Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is proving a limit by using delta epsilon limit definition. And the limit is this, the limit x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches 5 equals 6. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. Alright, so to do this, we have our given statement if 0 absolute value x minus the a which is 5 is less than delta then 0 less than the absolute value of f of x minus the limit. I'm writing shorthand because this is rather long. f of x is this whole thing right here and your L is this. So, let's assume first that epsilon is greater than zero, and it's a distance, so of course it's going to be positive. If, then we have the first part, that's our given, x minus 5 less than delta. And then we're going to choose delta equaling something. And what we might have to do is actually pick two deltas. So, you want to start with this statement right here. So you have the absolute value of x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus L, which is your limit, which is 6. Now this is equal to absolute value x squared minus 5x. Now then you have this equals absolute value of x, x minus 5. Well it's a problem, right? Because x can be a variety of different things. So you can't simply just put you know, we can't multiply x by both sides. So, let's make delta, let's choose a delta, and we're going to use minimums, one, and then we're going to use the second one, we're going to have two of them, one being epsilon. So, first things first, we have the one, which is this right here for delta. So, let me do on the side, when you have that, you have x minus 5 is less than 1. To undo this, you have absolute value of negative 1, x minus 5, uh, positive 1. When you do this right here, you get 4 less than x less than 6. So, you got this right here. Let's do this. You have 6. So you have x absolute value, x minus 5, is less than 6x minus 5. So then, if you multiply both sides by 6, right, you get less than 6 times delta. Well, if I make delta epsilon over 6, right, that's going to equal 6 times epsilon delta, sorry, epsilon over 6, which equals epsilon. So I just proved this is less than this. Notice that less than is going in the same direction. You want to be consistent with that. So if it goes the other way, you're not proving anything. It has to be consistent. So this is less, you know, this is less than epsilon. So let me rewrite that. x squared minus 5x plus 6, parentheses, minus 6, 
absolute value less than epsilon. So therefore it's true. True. Therefore it is a limit. And that's it.